First off, and for most as always, I want to give our praises, honors, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Kakwa, Call, Okay, so this lesson, you know, it's going to be a quick uh, World War III update, you know. And uh, real quick, before I, I even get a uh, the article, okay, let's get this quick precept. This is by, this is from the words of Yahweh Shai, okay? Because, you know, Yahweh Shai told us, Okay. And right here, I'm just jumping to the point. And, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Okay. See that ye be not. Must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Right. So, you, so, you know, these, we see the signs, you know, the build. Wow. Going to lead the, the Lord's second coming. Okay, so, you know, don't trip out, you know, because <clears throat> we are, you know, truly witnessing, you know, the uh, the uh, end of an Edomite era. Okay, we are truly witnessing the buildup of Babylon's demise, of Esau's overthrow. Okay, but the point I wanted to uh, intentionally get in this particular precept where it says rumors of wars. Okay. Let me just hold up one second. One sec. Okay. I don't know why it's not playing, but uh, the word here says uh, uh, okay or okay. Okay. And when you Oh, actually, no. That's not the. That's not the word. Let's go back. Oh, yep, it is. Excuse me. So it is O K E or or O K A, and if you go into that word uh, rumor, it goes into the uh, the word hearsay. Okay, now the word hearsay, it says uh, information received from other people that one cannot adequately substantiate. Okay, meaning that uh, when when someone says something. That's not backed up by hardcore evidence or proof. Okay. So, Yahweh Shai said that we shall hear of wars and the rumors of wars. Okay. Meaning what? Meaning, you know, like, for example, uh, North Korea said that they would, you know, shoot bombs in Babylon, you know, or Babylon said that, you know, they're going to, you know, uh, invade, you know, uh, Russia, you know, so, so, you know, just for an example. You know, those are rumors of wars. You know, those are things being said that it was ultimately those things, you know, you know, because uh, ultimately, you know, World Three is going to come to pass, you know, but those things may have been said. But there's no, um, if you will, like uh, any uh, proof by it, you know, back to proof because it's a rumor, you know, but those are, you know, um, those are just signs that were, you know, on the brink of World War Three, you see, because ultimately, you know, it soon is not going to, it's not going to become a rumor, you know, because uh, the scriptures, you know, uh, foretell, you know, about World War Three, you know, about, you know, um, you know, the final war being taking place in the Middle East out there in the Valley of Jehoshaphat. Okay, and speaking of the Middle East, now let's get that scripture. I mean, the uh, that uh, article. Okay. Now, the article is on the uh, source of shit, the fan plan, okay? And it says, for the Middle East, there is no turning back now, dot, dot, dot. All right? Now, when you go down, and I'm going to get a couple, you know, lines out of this. You know, I, I really, 
I had skimmed through this all right recently and it's a lot but really the the whole meat of the matter is in if you will it's like within the first paragraph like you don't need that much to read but all right so it says uh there is no way to avoid an apocalyptic war in the middle east now right because that's prophecy you know it's ultimately you know prophesized for you know um the final woe the final war to take place out there in, in the middle east okay and it says and, and it says there is no way to avoid an apocalyptic war and our word apocalyptic it means uh describing or prophesying the complete destruction of the world okay catastrophic okay so the whole world is not going to be destroyed but babylon will be destroyed you know israel is going to be you know nuked because the scriptures say that the earth abided forever okay but esau's world is going to be destroyed you see esau's you know uh, empire is going to be you know um taken down okay it's going to be you know overthrown this place has had enough time to rule okay esau you have had enough time to rule the world in wickedness you know and unrighteousness you see so your time as being king of the earth at this present time that shit is, is done man okay it's time for a new management of the earth okay and it says uh there is no way to avoid an ap apocalyptic war in the middle east now and it says too much has been said and done and both sides have pushed things past the point of no return okay so that's good you know because ultimately you know that that means that you know um that world war three is is uh imminent okay world war three is unavoidable all right and actually let's get a couple of precepts okay this is the book of revelation chapter nine actually let me get it right here this is revelation nine and verse 12 and it says one of what was past okay meaning what world war one and it says, and behold, there come two woes hereafter. Meaning what? World War II and World War III. But guess what? World War II already happened. All right. Now, the last war that's about to happen is what? World War III. Okay. Now, let's get that in Revelation 11. Okay. This is the book of Revelation 11 and 14. And it says, the second woe is past. Right. Because in Revelation 9, I just told, in 12, it said two woes. You know, our, uh, it, said, it said one woe is past, but two woes come after. Okay. So right here in, our, in Revelation 11 to 14, it says the second, it says the second woe is past, meaning what? World War II. And it says, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly, meaning what? The World War III, the final, you know, war to end all wars. Okay. And in the midst of that, Yahweh Shah is going to return and destroy these nations. That's why if you go to the book, of uh Joel 3 real quick Joel uh 3 and let's see Joel 3 and verse 2 and it says I will also gather all nations and and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat meaning that word means uh the Lord's judgment Mashapatim Yahweh's judgment okay and it says and will plead with them they're for my people and for my heritage, Israel. Okay, meaning with the word plead means to judge. Okay, and it says whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. Okay, so the so the reason why the Lord is bringing these, bring these these nations down into over oh, there in the Middle East, you know, into that big you know battlefield, is because of what they done unto you know his people, unto his children, you know the children of Israel which is the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American, similar Indian, and all the Israelites that may look like the heathen nations because, the, you know, we, you know, because of the great despair of the scattering of our people, but, but yet their bloodline goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, okay? They're not heathens, you know, they're Israelites that look like heathen, okay? No actual, no actual Gentile by blood or no actual heathen, you know, by, by you know, blood is going to be saved only israelites okay and within that the elect of the nation of israel the israel, the israel of god okay now let's jump down to 
verse 9. Okay, Joel 3 and verse 9, and it says, Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles, prepare war. Wake up the mighty men, let all of the men of war draw near, let them come up. Okay, now if you go into that word, actually, wait, it's like, and then keep going. All right, uh, verse 10, it says, Be your plowshares and the swords, and your pruning hooks and the spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. And guess what? That's what's happening. Okay, you know, the uh, the mighty men is waking up, you know, and now that they've woken up, you know, these these, these weaker nations, you know, that, 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 that have been, you know, perceived as weak, you know, now they're waking up, and now they're getting awakened. Now they're saying, you know, F Babylon, you know, now they're not saying that they're, you know, uh, weak. Now they're banding together and saying that they're strong, okay? Because ultimately, you know, these nations are going to come against Babylon. You know, right now they're against Babylon. It just hasn't, you know, become physical, you see? So these nations are, you know, um, they're, uh, they're, they're going to fight back ultimately, okay? Verse 11, it says, Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together round about. Thither, cause thy mighty ones to, to come down, O Lord. And it says, let the heathen be wakened, right? And that's the point I wanted to get. The word waken, it means to rouse up. You know, and that word rouse up, it, it means to like, you know, to make somebody angry or excited in a way, you know? And it says, and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, for there will I judge, excuse me, for there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. Okay. And uh, yeah, man, you know, once that, you know, once that happens, Yahweh is going to, you know, hey, he's going to come back and, and, and destroy them. You know, that's why the Yahweh says in Revelation, he's the king of kings and lord of lords because he's coming back to, to you know, put all these nations down, you know, and to, and to, and to you know, uh, bring righteousness back in the earth. Okay. Now let's head back to the article and it says, uh, it says uh, it won't be too long before thousands of miles are flying back. Excuse me. It won't be too long before thousands of missiles are, are flying back and forth. Right. Because the scriptures say that um, that uh, this this uh, battle shall be with a uh, fuel and, and um, with a uh, with, uh, burning and fuel of fire. OK. Loosely paraphrasing it pursuant to the book of Isaiah, the ninth chapter. OK. Meaning what? Meaning that. You know, this uh, final war is going to be nuclear. OK, it's going to be, you know, nuclear uh, uh, missiles. Uh, uh, all right. It's not going to be your typical. Actually, let me get it real quick. Just real quick. <laughs> OK, Isaiah nine and verse uh, five. And it says for every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rode in blood. Right. You have movies that show you that like Braveheart, you know, 300, you know, Troy so on and so forth you know people you know the men back in the ancient time they had you know the actual arrows you know because back then you know they didn't have the ammunition and you know heavy artillery they had arrows you know actual swords you know horses to ride upon you know world cries you know confused noise right and it says but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire meaning what nuclear a uh, nuclear weaponry okay nuclear missiles okay high tech advanced warfare all right in the book of Joel 2 it says that there shall not uh this says uh let me get it real quick just for just for, uh, for edification okay Joel 2 and verse uh 2 and it says a day of darkness and of gloominess a day of clouds and of thick darkness right and that's talking about the day of the lord you know the day of the lord is going to be scary man it's not going to be a pretty sight, you know, and it says as the morning spread upon the mountains a great people and a strong and that's going in about the nuclear missiles. OK, because they're because at the, because we're living in the age of the age of information, you know, the age of technology. And, you know, these nations have advanced their weaponry, you know, so, you know, uh, these these nuclear missiles are going to be, you know, um, um, what's the world looking for? They're going to be on point, you know, it's going to be really advanced. OK, and it says there have not been ever the like. Right. There have not been ever the like. Right. It's going to be really advanced. OK, and it says now it shall be any more accurate even to the years of many generations. Right. Because this is going to be the final countdown, the, the final war. OK, 
that's why Albert Einstein he said um he said uh based something like uh around the lines of saying that war a uh, war uh four is gonna be fought with sticks and stones something like that but meaning that this is gonna be the last battle okay because after this that's it you know after this battle that's it this war 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 three that's it then it's, then it's gonna be the um uh, you know us being a power you know you know the the kingdom of Yasharala you see so back in the article and it says uh and that is going to have enormous implications for all of us this war is going to look far different from anything we have ever seen the middle east before right because it's going to be world war three okay the final the final you know battle man the final countdown okay and it says in the level of death and destruction that we will witness will shock the entire globe you see so yeah man you know world war three is imminent but don't but, but don't forget before that you know the that's the, the uh, mtb got to come that c hip okay so prophecy is definitely being fulfilled man you know the mtb is coming you know jacob's trouble you know 2024 man the hopeful year of, of jacob's trouble you know so things are about to get real shaky man you know so just keep your faith in the how about you know shy keep enduring you know and uh yeah man just stay strong in the spirit man okay so with that being said, I just want to say call Lang La Yahawa Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Kakwadash and Lord's will. This lesson was edifying to the Lord's sheep. With that being said, Shalom.